GPS trackers are very common trope in cinema, which you might have seen in a lot of movies. So you don't have a GPS tracker on your phone? Do you know what that is? It's a GPS tracker. If you wear a GPS tracker, it's fine. Oh. No, I had a GPS tracker on it. Today we are diving into an exciting project where we'll be combining this new 6M GPS module with this Arduino microcontroller. This fusion will allow us to create our very own GPS tracker. Now without any further ado, let's dive straight into it. This is how a new 6M GPS module looks like. In the center we have the main GPS chip from the Ublox company. This chip can track 22 satellites over 50 different countries. There is also an LED on the module which is basically the position fix LED indicator. This LED helps us so we can know if the GPS module is in the range of enough satellites to tell us the exact GPS coordinates. Here we have a 3.3 volt regulator which can convert the 5 volt signals we receive from Arduino to 3.3 volt which the main chip needs. The module also consists of a tiny rechargeable battery which powers this EEPROM. The battery and EEPROM together create a sort of battery back tram which stores data like clock data, latest position data and module configuration. We can read more info regarding why this is needed in the blog linked in the description. Now the new 6M comes with an antenna for better signal reception. The antenna has a UFL connector which we can connect here directly. The GPS module consists of four main pins, VCC, ground, RX and TX pin. Now let's connect this GPS module to our Arduino board. Here's the complete circuit diagram for reference. And this is how the project looks after making the connections. Once everything is wired up correctly, it's time to power up the Arduino and then upload the code. If the LED on the GPS is not blinking at all, it means that it has not found enough satellites to get the coordinates. If it is blinking once every second, it means that we can move forward. So first what you need to do is you need to go to tools and manage libraries. Mm -hmm. Go to tiny GPS plus you see this one by Michael Hart, you need to install it. For me, it is already installed. Okay. After that has been done, you need to go to File, Examples. And then you need to go to Tiny GPS Plus and you need to go to Device Example. Mm. Okay. So this is the code. You can see we have included the libraries and we have rx pin 3 and tx pin 2 we have the gps board and then in the void setup we have the serials board then in the loop section what we're doing is we are getting the data from the gps and we are displaying it we are calling the display info function okay so which is this right if the gps is not detected it will print this message so back again to the display info function what it will do is it will display all the values like the location uh, of the like latitude and the longitude the date month uh, day year so everything which will be displayed here which is through the display info function and it will be running continuously in the loop okay now when that is done let's upload the code now let's take a look at our setup in action as you can see the Arduino is successfully receiving GPS data from the Neo 6M module the latitude and longitude information is displayed and updated in real time. And there you have it, a simple yet powerful project which demonstrates the ability of the new 6M GSM module with an Arduino microcontroller. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now thank you for watching, bye bye.